Hey guys, what's up, Virgo? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energy can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind this is a general reading. So take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. This does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right. Media future for birds. What's the word for the birds? Keep seeing that. Three of cups. So it could be a reconciliation, um, possibly with somebody that things ended with or after an ending. All right, Virgo. All right, wow. A lot of attractiveness. Somebody's sweating. You definitely want to come towards you. Media future for way too many. Virgo, please. Thank you. All right. Could be Gelsen Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, the King of Swords there. All right, somebody who's kind of inward, at least with their emotions here. Possibly somebody that you got fed up with and walked away from. Tell me about this King of Swords. They're going for success. They're going for victory, but they don't know how. With the Two of Swords, there could be a decision that somebody needs to make, but it's about a stalemate situation. This person is confused. Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with or a toxic situation because with the King of Swords, with the Sign of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and it's somebody who's kind of cutting off their emotions here, maybe coming off a little cold with their emotions. The King of Swords can kind of switch those off and become like a logical thinker here, not using too much intuition. With the Seven of Cups here, this is about decisions, choices, and the Two of Swords is somebody not making that. Um, not using their intuition or refusing to make it. So things have kind of came to a stalemate situation. Why the devil? Yeah, see, somebody could have turned their back here and walked away from something. You could have walked away from something toxic or that was no longer serving you. Or this person could be trying to make it that decision to, you know, walk away from something, but, because, you know, somebody could definitely have options or choices, or it's just a confused, wishy-washy energy, somebody not very in touch with their emotions right now, um, that type of thing, uncertainty. All right, show me the Six of Wands for Virgo, please. This is victory, success around this. You could be seen in this public eye, this person could be, show me the Six of Wands. See, yeah, it's almost like there's victory here. There's success here. But because this is in the position of an obstacle, some, something's blocking that. And with the Eight of Swords there, that's logical thinking, worry, scared to speak up, nervous about something, which is like I was saying with this King of Swords, a very logical thinker. Um, it's like this person is not in touch with their emotional side, their intuition, just been very confused here. So there was success and happiness around this, or there could be, but it's almost like fear and anxiety or worry is, is blocking that. Because see, with the full, the star and the six of cups, Aquarius energy with the star, somebody still holding on to the hope of this. They see it as their wish and they want to rebuild. They, they want to come forward. And with the six of cups, it could be somebody from your childhood, somebody that you had children with or just somebody from the past kind of coming back around because there's still hope here they would like to rebuild this to work on things um to come forward and take this leap but what's blocking this is kind of nervousness or just ways of thinking that aren't serving shit um we can't see clearly like this and that's kind of what's happening here this king of swords didn't like see it clearly see how she has like a veil over her face there 
So still there is hope there. Somebody would like to come forward. The wheel is there. So it's all about divine timing. The wheel is um, turning in your favor here. But this person has just been very defensive. You could have blocked them. And that's what made them nervous. Show me this four of swords for that outcome for Virgo. This is about healing. With the Queen of Wands, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm sorry. Aries, Leo, Sag. But it doesn't have to be. The Two of Wands is here. So there's a choice um, on moving forward, right? The Queen of Wands is you, you know, this person very attractive to you, wanting to come towards you. But it's also about you standing in your power here. Um, it's almost like an obsession. They could watch you, especially like if something that you do is in the public eye or you hold like a position of authority or something like that. But it's also about just wanting your peace here. And you're not going to take less than that. So with the two of wands there, you may have a choice between people, honestly, or this person may. The four of swords is about healing, though. The three of cups again. So it's definitely, like I was saying, a reconciliation here. The four of swords at the top of it, it's like finding that peace. Finding that peace, staying strong in your power, making that choice about moving forward. Could be a reconciliation, dating, things like that. You could work with this person um, as well with the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with another earth sign or it could be your energy. But you're putting in the work. You're moving forward towards this because this person never lost hope here. I think you're still very guarded and I think you'll cut out any bullshit as if it's spit to you. I don't think you're going to back down and take less than you deserve. But the opportunity is there. Yeah, see, this is the Nine of Cups. Again, wish fulfillment here. In the world, cycles ending so new ones can begin. And it's all about divine timing. So it is coming forward. Um, looks like, you know, you're moving towards, it could be dating or reconciliation, something like that. This is what you want. But there's been a period of confusion for this person. So, all right, Virgo. This could even be work-related. You could be really busy at work, moving forward, celebrating that. But there's wishes around this, especially after this time of, you know, things kind of being a little guarded, a little uncertain at the very least. It's like finding that peace and moving forward. And there's happiness on the other side of this. Your wish is on the other side. Change is on the other side. Could be dealing with the Scorpio, but change to the connection, to stability, things like that. And it looks like a, a pretty happy change because you're building one hell of a foundation there. Whether it's work or with this person. The Queen of Wands lets me know that you're, you're not going to back down. You're not going to take any shit. And at the same time, you're still getting stuff done. This person's been crazy nervous to approach you. They're definitely attracted to you. You may have been a little pissed off, a little guarded towards them. Or vice versa, you know. All right, Virgo, I hope this helps. I hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.